Hello, sisters. It's hard to believe, but I am back in Heathrow Airport after less than 24 hours after I had arrived from San Francisco. But I'm heading off to Zurich later today and uh, going to go skiing with uh, Jer or on a ski trip with Jeremy Baddock. So, but um, but yeah. So I won't. I had written a story, and uh, it's really rough. But uh, but I wanted to do the do the uh, question of the week that I had actually uh, had asked. So and. I know it roughly, but uh, let's see if I can I can uh, recite it without remembering. I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see. All right. The prince looked out over the crowds that were amassing. Some of the commoners had spent their last credits getting to Planet's base castle for the coronation. I'm gonna be running this place one day, and then they'll all see how a king should really live, the prince mumbled to himself. Just then, one of the castle attendants burst through the door of the oft-neglected bal balcony. There you, ha he's, there you are, he said with stifled exasperation. The ceremonies are about to begin. We wouldn't want you to miss them. The prince groaned, but he went along with the, the servant to the coronation room. The coronation was held in a long vaulted hallway with many of the kingdom's most venerable members uh, in, in attendance in the hall room with the royal family at front. Once all the space lords and space ladies were seated, the, the spatian priest cleared his throat and began, we are gathered here today to celebrate the ascension to the throne of the new queen. Her spaceliness is undeniable, and the space priest's words were cut short, though. Thud. 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 Something was trying to get in. The tremendous banging enveloped the attendees in captive terror. Thud. 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 In between beds, there was the sound, a high-pitched squealing sound, similar to that of meat on a hot skillet. All of the space guards ran towards the sound, which was coming from the ceiling in the rear of the coronation room. Several guards burst through the door, but before they could warn the court, crack! The prince was knocked out of his chair as the ceiling gave way. The most massive space dragon that anyone had seen called, crawled through the newly formed hole. Hanging upside down from the ceiling, the dragon launched itself towards the front of the room. It flipped over in midair and soared easily to the front of the room where the prince and the rest of the royal family now cowered. The guards assemb assembled around the queen, but it was no use. The dragon was too fast lunged forward and ate the queen and several of her guards all in one bite. The remaining guards swarmed the dragon who had turned its sights on the rest of the royal family. They were able to subdue the dragon, but the damage had already been done. The prince, who was carrying, cowering in fear behind the ceremonial hover chair, peeked around the corner. All his fears were confirmed. His mother was dead. The prince ran over to the space dragon and slammed his fists against its now still body. He let out a pained wail. It turned out that he was going to get his chance to show everyone how a real king should live much sooner than anyone could have guessed. The end.